today we're going to be talking about should you learn PHP or Node. Uh, a lot of times people want to go in one or the other direction, as they should. You should kind of focus. And we're going to look at some, some stats. We're going to look at um, some articles. And I'm going to give you my opinion as well as just present what I think is a, a good objective reason uh, for one or the other. Hey guys, today's sponsor is me. So <laughs> if, you, if you're interested in cryptocurrencies and uh, you don't know where to get started, I happen to use Coinbase. I've used them for quite a bit. I, I like them. It's simple. It's easy to get up and going and you can buy and sell instantly. All you got to do is hook up your bank account. So if you're, if you're interested in that sort of thing and you want to get started with it, check out my link in the description below. Uh, if After you put $100 in, uh, you'll get $10 as a reward for Bitcoin and so will I. So cool little way that you can help me out. So thank you again to our sponsor, me. So let me start off by saying that I, I've coded in both PHP and uh, Node Express, all, all that great stuff, and MongoDB and MySQL. Um, so I, I'm I'm pretty familiar with the basics of both stacks, and and um, I've I've have professional experience in PHP and and sort of personal project experience in Node and MongoDB. Uh, so what, one thing I wanted to say, um, let's just look at the job trends to start. And I'll, I'll kind of give my impression. So here we have, and this isn't the end all be all, um, but um, this is just something from Indeed that I like to look at because a lot of times people are asking these questions. Hey, should I learn PHP or should I learn Node? Which one should I kind of focus on? Um, and it, it's to land a job. So we can see here that PHP uh, in the blue in 2014 had a much larger share of the market and has been steadily decreasing and, and the um you'll see here i have databases as well the reason i have the database is uh, i kind of have the the go-to database for the back-end language typically for php it'll be my sequel most of the time uh just so that you can see how closely it correlates with its its sort of respective partner now php um we'll just say was four times as many jobs in PHP just three years ago. So you can see we're at 0.8 and now we're hovering around 0.2. Uh, the reason I think that's really important is I have this, this mentality that I would rather be in a job category that is either stagnant or growing. And the scariest thing in the world is when now we have a surplus of developers in a decreasing field. So in theory, not not you know, if everyone lost their job, there'd only be one fourth of jobs left. That's not really what's happening. What's happening is is that there's less PHP jobs, and in terms of backend languages, more jobs are being picked up elsewhere. And you can kind of see with Node, and I just chose MongoDB. There's a couple different sort of databases you can use with Node. Um, you can see it kind of staying steady. And I think if anything, uh, give it a little bit of time as new projects are starting, it's going to continue to grow. Um, so from a job perspective, I would just, even though there's less jobs in total, I also think there's less developers for those jobs because here we have four times less as many openings in PHP, which worries me. And uh, here we've kind of stayed steady and stagnant at the very least. And hopefully there will be growth down the road from a practical standpoint of, of PHP as someone learning to code. I think full stack JavaScript is a much faster path to becoming a developer because you get introduced to the back end technologies and databases much quicker than if you did in terms of web development, you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, whatever JavaScript frameworks. And then you have to go pick up PHP, which as, as someone who's worked in PHP basically the last nine months of this last year uh, and with the fr with a framework of cake PHP, it gets very, very convoluted. Because not only do you have to learn the framework, you have to learn PHP. And PHP in itself seems to be, at least at, in my limited professional experience, one of those languages that requires a lot of code to do some very simple things. So I know that I could do something in Node in one or two lines using like Express or something. And in PHP, it would take me like 10. And it, it gets very, very sort of convoluted over time. And I will say that I like the documentation for PHP because if you go on there like a uh, documentation, you can see people are commenting about the documentation. So I think it's really cool because they kind of expose some of the gotchas, which is nice. Um, and this is just another job seeker interest. So like what are people actually looking for? 
Uh, these are the actual jobs. But um, I would say I think Node is going to be much easier for someone to learn and get up and running, which is why I lean towards Node. But the biggest thing, in my opinion, is the sheer amount of frameworks that go along with PHP. And I know we're, we're laughing, right? It's like, bro, you're talking about JavaScript. I, I get that. Uh, but really, in JavaScript, there's two main ones, right? There's React and Angular, so you kind of have a choice. Uh, in PHP, you'll see this article I'm about to show you, 11 best PHP frameworks, right? Uh, you could even throw a view in there, but that's front end. In terms of the back end, it's just packages, and you can kind of choose what you want. Um, I just would be very worried about learning PHP, seeing in three years that the amount of job apps on Indeed, at the very least, is one-fourth what it was uh, three years ago, which means that you have so many PHP, PHP developers at the end of the day that are either... Let's just say that you have this. The, there's always a hundred job, a hundred PHP jobs. Now there's 25, and uh, for people looking to hire and fill that role, and you have you're going against, especially as an entry level developer. Who's why would they hire an entry level developer if maybe for less money? But there's going to be a slight influx of PHP developers, so the barrier of entry is going to be quite hard. So I would stay away from that. Now, if you if you do say you're like, look, man, I just care that there's more PHP jobs. I, I hear you on that. Uh, I disagree a little bit, but I hear you. So uh, what sort of framework to learn? Uh, so there's been one really standalone PHP framework that has been taken off, and that's been Laravel. You can see here, uh, this is from 2012 to, I believe this is 2017 or 2016. And this is, yeah, through 2017. And this is taken from Coder's Eye's own uh, own survey from php developers and they had 7500 people under it and uh, this is actually is this the google trends no excuse me this is google trends and then down here they have uh, a, they break it out a little bit more of their own uh, their own survey um which was pretty pretty on point with who uses what but you can see that laravel is the only one increasing here while all the other are slightly decreasing um not even so slightly right um you can see Laravel is making up quite a large portion of that. So if you are going to learn PHP, that is pretty much the only framework to look at. I'll include this this link in the uh, in the description so you can kind of dive into it a little bit deep, deeper. Now, one thing I wanted to bring up since we're talking about backend technologies is if you are considering PHP or Node, one thing you might want to consider is C Sharp and .NET, right? Um, kind of in the same category there. But you can see here, in terms of sheer amount of jobs, yes, the if we start from five years ago, is at like 1.5. It's now down to about 1.1. So there has been a decrease, not as much as, uh, not a, in percentage-wise, not as large as PHP, but you can see that there's many, many more jobs than PHP and Node combined in .NET and in C Sharp, and that might be something for you to consider. Now, these are these are um, languages. C Sharp and .NET are languages that are more often taught at in computer science programs, and so the the barrier of entry for those jobs may have to be a CS degree. I, I couldn't really tell you one way or the other, but Java, C Sharp, C those are some of the more um, common languages, object oriented languages you would be learning in a in a computer science program. Well, Node uh, and PHP, not so much. Um, but as a whole, it's it depends on what you're trying to get out of in your current role. So for me, I could tell you that I really didn't enjoy working in PHP. Having worked in Node, I enjoyed Node. Node felt familiar. Um, now, that might have been because I was most familiar with JavaScript. But I've coded in other languages before and been experienced to it. And I could tell you that PHP has a disgusting learning curve. Not a hard learning curve, a disgusting learning curve because of of just sort of the code and the the function names and the 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 convoluted mess of all the frameworks and and all that sort of stuff. And I, I never even now nine months later later I never really felt like I fully grasp all of PHP. Now it could be because I jumped into the Cake PHP framework and I got more custom to that, but I can tell you that I spent probably two months trying on my own time as well as at work for nine months uh, trying to really understand PHP and to like it I never liked it uh, and I instantly fell in love with Node and Express and MongoDB and Mongoose 
Um, and I, I really like the JSON databases uh, versus uh, document oriented da databases versus relational databases. But that's a different topic. So I would say uh, just be, just kind of be weary of what is going on. Also, um, a lot of times if you're a full stack developer, maybe you'll get hired for the front end. They'll just have you learn the back end. It really doesn't necessarily matter. But if you if you plan on being a PHP developer, I think the barrier of entry is going to be harder because the let there are less PHP jobs popping up year after year after year. So much so that in terms of pure apps for the last three or four years, it's 75% less. Meanwhile, the, the amount of jobs, which means that there's more PHP developers going after it. Um, meanwhile, the, the amount of jobs that have been in Node and uh, are slow and steady, um, and I think eventually will kind of take off, but that's just a, a personal opinion on it. So for me, I would say if, you're, if your goal is to go from zero to hero in the quickest amount of time and just be exposed to a lot, I would say stick with Node. Um, and if your goal is to really just hate yourself and um, smash your head against the keyboard, PHP is a good option for that. But, <laughs> but that's my two cents on PHP versus Node. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, job trends aren't everything. It's just one part of the puzzle, right? I I uh, I uh, I tend to just like to do full stack JavaScript because I think it's the fastest way to get a product out, and I think it's the most familiar, and you can learn really deep dive into a single language. Also, on a, on a side note, that um, when it comes to Node, it's still JavaScript, and I I did a video recently about why I thought JavaScript was so amazing. In terms of JavaScript, not only are you doing front end, back end, now you're doing databases, web apps, uh, excuse me, mobile apps. Um, uh, desktop apps. These aren't things that you can necessarily do in PHP. And um, you can do some front end with PHP, but in terms of the, the web, excuse me, the mobile, and in terms of the desktop applications, not so much. So you kind of get that option as well, where you now have a skill set that can allow you to build multiple different types of applications that you'll, you'll gain. And Node, being JavaScript, leads into that path as well. So uh, those are my two cents, guys, or three cents or four cents, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm sure I'll have a few people who disagree, and I, I encourage you to let me know in the comments below because I, I am, I, this has just been my experience, and um, you know I know people who, who love PHP, and um, we haven't had talked in many years, but no, uh, but <laughs> I, I, I appreciate different viewpoints is what I'm trying to say. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share. Support me on Patreon, join the Facebook group, all that great stuff. Bye, guys. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IoTs, hacks, do it yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.